Hello and welcome back to Maths Made Easy. Today we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square method. But before we begin, I request all the viewers to subscribe this YouTube channel because this keeps me motivated. Thank you very much. Now let's start. Okay, completing the square method. First, let's know the theory about it. Completing the square is a technique used to solve quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are constant and x is a variable. Good enough. It's a technique to solve a quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are constant and x is variable. And now let's discuss the idea. The main idea in this is to manipulate the entire quadratic equation so that we can convert this equation to this form and we'll see how we are going to manipulate that to manipulate that you need to focus on the constant b that is the coefficient of variable x not x square huh just be aware that i'm if i'm talking about constant coefficient of x it doesn't mean i'm talking about coefficient of x square don't get confused between that okay this is also a square this is also an x so here are few steps that I have already broken down. Very first what you will do you will write your quadratic equation and take the C to the other end to the RHS. So the equation will become like this AX square plus BX is equal to minus C. Now you will take the coefficient of X before that you have to make sure that the coefficient of x square is equal to 1 in this case it is a so we will be dividing the entire equation with a so now we have x square plus a upon bx is equal to c upon a now we have to make the square of a upon b b upon a 1 1 by 2 raised to 2 this is going to be our very important term after that we are going to add this third term on both the side like they like we have done here b upon 2a the whole square b upon 2a the whole square and b upon 2a the whole square now this entire term can be written as p plus q the whole square that is a plus b the whole square and this is a, a regular mathematics over here and after few steps we will get the value of x as minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a anyways this is a formula we have we are not going to put in here we are going to start from the beginning in the next examples okay we have our first question x square plus 4x minus 5 equal to 0 remember the first step first step is to take the constant term on the other end so what we are going to do is we, uh, we will be writing x square plus 4x is equal to 5 like so now our second step is already done the coefficient of x square is already 1 so we don't need to divide with any number if this is 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 we need to divide with that to make it 1 but in this case it is directly 1 we don't need to do anything so what we are going to do is we will we will go jump to the next step now pay attention to this one whenever your quadratic equation you reach to this step consider it half of it done because now you just need to pick up a coefficient of x and find this third term the formula for the third term is half into third term is equal to half into coefficient of our x the whole square in this case third term is equal to half of coefficient of x the whole square the coefficient of x is 4 so I'm gonna write here half times 4 the whole square 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2, 2 square is equal to 4, which is equal to 4. So we have 
so we know now we have third term s equal to 4 i'm go i'm going to add plus 4 on both the side now like so x square plus 4x plus 4 5 plus 4 now what you can write this 4 as 2 times of 2x 4 as 2 square 4 5 plus 4 is 9 now this is already the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square so i can write x plus 2 the whole square is equal to 9 or it can be written as x plus 2 the whole square is equal to 3 square so we have x square plus 2xy plus 2 2 times of 2x plus 2 square is equal to 9 which can be written as plus or minus 3 the whole square remember that even if we multiply minus 3 minus 3 we get 9 even if we multiply plus 3 plus 3 we get 9 so whenever i write 9 i will be writing plus minus of 3 is equal to the power 2 now taking square root on both the side this is square root and 2 will get cancelled this is square root and this is 2 that is square will get cancelled so the value of x so what we are left with is x plus 2 is equal to plus minus 3 x plus 2 is equal to 3 x plus 2 minus 3 now take this 2 on the other side x is equal to 3 minus 2 x is equal to minus 3 minus 2 x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 5 these are the values of x now to verify if if your answer is correct or no you just need to put the values of x in the main equation and see that LHS is equal to RHS or no so I have already done here and you can see that 1 square is 1 4 ones are 4 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 so we can say that x equal to 1 is correct how about minus 5 let's put here minus 5 the whole square is 25 5 fours are 20 minus 20 minus 5 is also 0 equal to 0 hence this x is equal to minus 5 is also correct let's see some more example now we have 2x square plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0 remember what to do first first we have to take minus first we have to take this 3 on the other hand so since it is minus 3 it will become plus 3 now in this case the well the coefficient of x square is a number not only one it is 2 3 4 5 or anything so what I am what I have to do is I have I will be dividing the entire equation with 2 so I have x square plus 5 upon 2 x is equal to 3 by 2 like so now how to find the third term third term is half of coefficient of x to the power 2 so half of 5 upon 2 to the power 2 5 ones are 5 2 two are 4 raised to 2 that is equal to 25 upon 16 so my third term is 25 upon 16 i am going to i am going to add 25 upon 16 on both the side this 25 upon 16 i am going to add on both the side on lhs also and on and rhs also now you can see that this is nothing but 2 times of 5 by 4 5 by 2 can be written as 2 times of 5 by 4 because this 2 and 4 will get cancelled and again we reach to 5 by 2 25 the square root of 25 is 5 16 is 4 so 5 by 4 the whole square in here taking the LCM 16 we have 49 upon 16 so I can write x plus 5 upon 4 the whole square is equal to plus or minus 7 upon 4 the whole square like the previous example for 9 what we write minus or plus or minus 3 similarly 49 upon 16 can be written as plus or minus 7 upon 4 the whole square. Now taking square root on both the side square root and the square will cancel each other so we are left with x plus 5 upon 4 is equal to plus or minus 7 upon 4 so we have two different values of x from here x plus or minus x plus 5 upon 4 is equal to 7 by 4 x plus 5 upon 4 is equal to minus 7 by 4 take this 5 by 4 to the other side
and a very simple mathematics you know that x is equal to 1 by 2 x is equal to 3 substitute the values of x in the main equation to verify your solution i have already done and i found that these are correct so you can also do it by yourself let's go to the next one here 3x square minus 12x plus 7 is equal to 0 very first you have to divide the entire equation by 3 already done 12 upon 3 is 4 7 upon 3 find the third term half into coefficient of x the whole square half into coefficient of x that is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 to the 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 add 4 on both the side so this is the 4 this can be written as x square 2 times of 2x to the whole square 3 fours are 12 12 minus 7 is 5 upon 3 now you can write this part and enti entire part as x minus 2 the whole square because this is the formula of a square minus 2ab plus b square so this is a minus b the whole square plus 5 upon 3 taking square root on both the side you can remove the, this 2 and you can put root on the other side so we have x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus under root 5 upon 3 this there is two different values of x over here x minus 2 is equal to root of 5 upon 3 or x minus 2 is equal to minus root of 5 upon 3 i will be taking this 2 to the other end so the value of x is equal to 2 plus root of 5 by 3 2 minus root of 5 by 3 I think I have solved three questions that is enough to understand how to solve quadratic equation by completing square method. Now these are 10 practice questions that I wish you, if you can if you can solve it and come up with your queries if you have any problem let me know in the comment section I will be there to solve it. Please subscribe this YouTube channel. Thank you very much.